Welcome to a quick video. This one, High Carb Vegans, if you not, check out their channel. This man reverses type 2 diabetes and hypertension just two weeks. Let's play it out. If you've still got two type 2 diabetes, could you still eat in KFC? You're still eating shit. Simple as that. And there's a the medical science out there. Look, read Dr. Bernard's book. If you've still got type 2 diabetes, you're eating the KFC. You're eating the shit. Check this out. Hi, my name is Jesh and I live in London. I started this lifestyle as I was a diabetic and I had very high blood pressure. My HbA1c was 10.2 when I first started. After two weeks, I noticed my levels dropped to 5.2 and I gave up all my medication. My BP is also under normal levels with no medication whatsoever. After two months of continuing with this, I have now maintained my HbA1c to 5.2. I do not need any medications. And I can also say that my digestion has improved tremendously. I had IBS and I had diverticulitis. I couldn't digest many, many foods. I would highly recommend anyone to try this lifestyle as it is completely natural and there is no medication involved. Thank you. Now here's the thing. I don't even know if this guy's riding a bike. If you're riding a bike, you can like you can reverse stuff so much quicker because your insulin receptors get they work a lot better. That you can increase your insulin sensitivity as soon as you do more exercise, more cycling, especially cycling. Cycling is like the best sport for helping your blood sugars. Like I've got a friend who's type one diabetic. His name's Scott, and he would do a bike race on a Saturday, and he would say his sugars were like really fucking stable for like four or five days after. And that's from just a one hour intense bike ride. It was insane, and it was really cool. And I, I actually would use his blood glucose meter to measure my bloods. This is back in 2000. This is like 1999, 2000, 2001. And then I went vegan 2001. Then I started playing more of stuff. And then we would test his sugars out. And he'd have like a banana smoothie. But he'd have something fatty before that. And it was like his sugars would stay up. And if he didn't have the fat, it'd be like a lot more stable, lower. And so... And I've seen it with Robert Barbaro. I've seen all these people. If, if you cut out the overt fats then you don't have the issues. Obviously, if you're type 1, it's not curable. But if you're type 1 and you cut the fats, Bobby Barbaro, Dr. Neil Banana, all this stuff. But if you're type 2, if you're still obese and type 2, if you're still type 2, it's because you're eating the KFC. It's still eating the shit, the oil, the grease. It's as simple as that. There's no, You can't lie about it. Like Type 2 diabetes is like a... You just, you just can't lie about what you're eating. You, you can't claim eating this, but you still got type 2 diabetes because it's impossible to have type 2 diabetes on what I'm prescribed lifestyle and diet. It's impossible. Even Dr. McDougall with the rice sugar diet, 500 grams of white sugar a day, reversing type 2 diabetes and with no exercise. 500 grams of, diet of refined sugar a day plus white rice plus fruit juice and no fiber. Reversing type 2 diabetes, reversing obesity, reversing kidney issues. You know, so, and they were exercise. These people that don't have power meters doing Strava segments like I recommend, they would have given me better results if they did. So if someone says to you, I've still got type, I've got type 2, but I'll be some trying my diet, you can say, mate, not mean to be mean, but you're a soft cunt. You're a soft cunt still eating shit, and you're lying to my face, you're lying to everyone's face around, you're lying to your family's face. you got still got type 2, it's because you're still eating shit. And giving someone that level of tough love is what's needed to help them get out of the rut. When you give someone sympathy, then you keep them where they're at. When you give someone an action plan, you help them. Bottom line, type 2 diabetes. As this man says, as I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor, except for that time of your mum. But I'm not a doctor. This is just lifestyle advice that people are doing and getting results. I've seen it myself, people reversing type 2 diabetes. It's like, it's the easiest thing. It's the easiest thing to improve on and to help and to cure. Um, but there's so much money in insulin. There's so much money in insulin, man. It's like lightweight, expensive, shippable product. 
And the more fat you eat, the more insulin resistance you build. Simple as that. You can disagree with me, but you're still fucking wrong. Don't know. I like, I like the KFC, mate. You know what I'm saying? I like the KFC. Yeah, I like KFC. It's good for me. I'm, I'm an emotional eater. That's, that's my excuse. It's not because I like it. It's not because I'm a fake vegan just trying to make money off the vegans in Chiang Mai, renting bikes and renting rooms. I, 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 I'm legit. I really care about the animals. That's why I still eat KFC. I still got type 2 diabetes. I still like my beer as well, do you know? You know? Let me say judgmental, mate. Governor. Crikey, Governor.